German army was able to recover and repair up to 75% of tanks damaged in combat or broken down due to defect or mechanical issues up until late 1944. In the first part of the war, the Germans used prime movers to tow disabled tanks back to the repair depots. The Sonderkraftfahrzeug or Special Purpose Vehicle 9 was among the best prime movers made during the war and they were very loved by the German troops for their abilities. As the tanks got bigger and heavier, recovery became more difficult. For example, it took three Sonderkraftfahrzeug 9 tractors to tow a single Tiger tank. Furthermore, the Germans captured many T-34 tanks and often converted them to recovery vehicles. This was true especially if the turrets were damaged but the deck was intact. In the second part of the war, the Germans also often used their own tanks as tank wreckers with cables and even cranes built on them. There were a few Berge Panzer recovery tanks available because the German army had few resources to devote to dedicated recovery vehicles when they needed combat vehicles instead. The first such vehicle was the Berge Panzer III based on the chassis of the Panzer III tank. Having no turret, the Berge Panzer had a crew of three and was fitted with a one-ton crane protected by a wooden superstructure as well as a rear-mounted spade to stabilize the vehicle while recovering heavier vehicles. For communication with the Tiger I units that the Berge Panzer was meant to follow, the vehicle was fitted with an FUG-5 radio set. Armor protection for the crew consisted of a 50 mm on the upper and lower hull and 30 mm in the sides. The Berge Panzer III was produced from March to December 1944 to help German armor divisions with heavy armor recover their lost vehicles. By 1944 the Panzer III tank proved no longer useful in combat leading to an order for all Panzer III tanks returning to Germany for repair to be converted into Berge Panzer III. In all, some 150 examples had been converted during the war, with mentioned examples serving until the end of the war. By February 1945, 130 of these 150 were still listed as in service. Next was the Berge Panzer IV, a German armor recovery vehicle based on the late Panzer IV chassis. In early mid-1944, Panzer IV chassis that were recovered or returned to supply depots for repair were converted into armored recovery vehicles. These vehicles had the turret replaced with flat wooden boards covering the opening with a hatch. Multiple pieces of equipment were mounted to support in the recovery of the vehicles, including a crane. Production ran from October 1944 to March of 1945, where 21 were built by converting existing chassis. Of the 21 Berge Panzer IV that were completed, only four were reported in service by mid-January 1945. Whether these vehicles were lost or the records are incomplete is unknown. Berge Panzer 38T was a recovery vehicle based on Hetzer's base with lower open top superstructure. The plans were approved in September 1944 and called for production of 170 vehicles until the end of 1944. In fact, just 101 vehicles were built. To meet the production plans, it was decided to convert 64 Hetzers into armored recovery vehicles, but it is unknown how many were actually converted. Production was much slower than plans 
and total number of about 180 vehicles was finished until the end of the war. The Berge Panzer was equipped with a two-ton crane used to handle engines and other heavy components. The last model was the Berge Panther, an armored recovery vehicle that based upon the chassis of the Panzer V Panther tank with the first production model was the A version. The Berge Panther had a crew of five and a Maybach engine which, just like the standard Panther medium tank, propelled the vehicle to speeds of up to 46 km per hour. For a defensive armament, the Berge Panther mounted a 20 mm cannon and an additional MG42 machine gun. The main and obvious difference between the Berge Panther and the original Panther was that the Berge Panther had a 40,000 kg winch and cable system that replaced the turret. Another commonly added feature was a rear-mounted spade which acted as a counterbalance when recovering a vehicle. The Berge Panther first began its development between 1942 and 1943 because of the need for a heavy-duty tank recovery vehicle. This need came about with the introduction of German heavy armor such as the Panther medium tank or Tiger I heavy tank. Tigers at the time were also valued higher than Panthers considering their smaller production numbers leaving the Panther as the preferred base for the new armored recovery vehicle. These vehicles produced by Mann were subsequently shipped off to serve during the Battle of Kursk and in various other battles until the end of the war. Around two to four Berge Panthers were allocated to each tank unit, making up for a total of around 330 vehicles produced during the war, largely by the company Demag.